it's inside of Armour 3D. Now I know what you're thinking, if you've seen my video, the explosions, uh, episode 8 of my tutorial series, and yes we have already covered this, but I'm doing a specific tutorial in detail explaining how to specifically set up these tile sheets, and also give you some insight of how you may want to use them. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is to add an object so we can project our texture onto it. So we're going to add a plane and we're going to rotate it upwards. Now we have this, we need to actually add our image to it. So let's go ahead to the uh, texture workspace and add in an image texture. From here we can open up the image we want and then we can adjust it in the UV setting. Just remember to also plug the alpha into the alpha socket so you get a transparent image. We need to make sure the UVs encapsulate the first frame of the first image and since we have two animations here we're just going to take the one from the top because what we're going to do is we're going to move the UVs along to modify the frames. Now we can go down in the materials section to the army tile sheets and add a new tile sheet. This is going to be the tile sheet of the object so we're going to call this a character. And then we can define the frames. So we need to go to our tile sheet and you can see here we have eight different uh, images. So it's eight different frames. So for X we have to put seven because it starts at zero. So zero is the one. And there's two layers to it so we have to have put, but there's two layers to it so we put two in the Y. Next we can go ahead and define an action. This is gonna be run. This is gonna be the top image sequence and then backwards, which is running backwards. So we've got to define that 8 to 15 is the backwards running and 0 to 7 is forwards running. Now that we've done that we need to actually set the uh, the, the uh, tile sheet in the properties so let's go ahead and define it and say which action we want to start with. You can do that or you can actually use code as in logic node so let's create a new logic node tree, add play tile sheet node and then I drop the object which has the tile sheet and say which action you want it to run for example we want to run the run action and so there we go now we are running we can obviously modify the frame rate to make it look different and we can also add a billboard spherical or cylindrical so let's go ahead and go to our properties and down here we have billboard and it's turned off right now so when we move away from the camera it won't rotate with us if we set the rotation to cylindrical as in the billboard to cylindrical and augment the frame rate you can see we have something much more smooth and when we've moved the camera around the object is also facing the camera at all times as you can see here in this scene we have some reference points and when we've moved the camera around the uh, the tile sheet object is constantly facing the camera which is a super great trick. So now when we press A or D on the keyboard we're actually flipping which animation we're playing, running backwards or running forwards. Now you can expand this and obviously translate the movement and uh, make the player run around the scene, whatever you want to do, really powerful but what you can also do is make retro style FPS games just like Doom. It's uh, not only just very powerful, but it's also a very great way to make stylized and more interesting content. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again someday.